Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Codeigniter version 3, REST API development. This is our part 9. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about delete API method for our tabular data. So far inside this playlist, we had seen about get request type and post request type. In the next, we have to see about delete request type. By the help of this request type, we are going to take our data from form data via Postman and delete that requested data from our table. So back to editor. Now to delete request type, we have made a method in the last videos and something we have called index underscore delete. Now inside this, inside this delete method, we are going to take a data from our Postman. So if I get rid of that and let's say that as we know that we are operating all the data in case of students. So firstly, we are going to take our student ID from the postman. So let's say student ID, this input or as we have learned about security class. So let's say use about X clean method and inside this and to pass let's say this input and here instead of post I am to use called a request and inside this I am to take student ID from the postman via form data and submit to a model. So successfully we are getting a student ID. So if for now if I check to print a and let's say that student ID save all these changes back to postman and if I change this URL in the last video we had seen about the basic use of access clean method inside post request type so copy that go here only we need to change about delete request type now press send button now we have some error and error is that call to undefined method CI request so this error means that we have no request type method inside this input. So let's say that we are going to take our data from the body parameters. So here let's say data it should be JSON in code sorry decode. Inside this let's say file get contents and inside here I'm going to use let's say PHP Alice input and if I pass this data data and inside this data we pass student ID so let's say here data and it should be student ID so save all these changes we have successfully passed our data inside body parameters back to postman so instead of here if I change firstly about the content type and it should be let's say that application JSON back to body instead of form data I am to use call raw and inside here let's say that student underscore id and let's say we are passing off five number value click on send button now as we can see in the output we are getting the five value it means that we are going to use call the body parameters to pass our student id so back to editor now successfully we are getting our student ID inside this variable. Now on the behalf of this ID, we have to delete that student from our table. So let's say that as we know that we have made a student model. So inside this student model, we are going to create a method called delete underscore student. And inside this, we are going to pass this student ID what we are getting via postman. So let's say if delete a student and in case it returns true it means that we have successfully deleted that else let's say that we have a false value it means we have some error so if I save all these changes copy the method name back to a student model and firstly we need to create about delete API method so let's say public function delete student 
and inside this I am to pass let's say student ID and here we have to delete that so delete method so let's say this db where we are going to use called active record queries so here ID equal to and we are getting a student ID let's say this db from in the first parameter we have to pass the table name only one parameter we have to pass so we want to delete from tbl underscore students table or simply instead of using this from method directly we can use called the delete method so if I return this value means it will return true or false that either we have deleted that record from the table or not so what basically this query will generate this query will generate that delete from table name where id equal to this student id so if we save all these changes go here and let's make some output format so in case of true value let's say this response and inside this if we pass the first parameter as an array and let's say that is status equal to 1 and let's say message equal to let's say a student has been deleted and for the HTTP code let's say that rest controller and we have let's say HTTP something ok value again if I copy this output response go to else block inside this case this is status equal to 0 and let's say failed to delete student and here it should be HTTP let's say not found so if we save all these changes so if I back to postman now before that if we check about the records means their IDs like 1 to 3 up to 13 so we have fifth number record so we have to delete that so back to postman click on send button now we have a message called student has been deleted so back here now if I reload this page now to check about fifth number ID record now fifth number ID has been removed from this table so successfully we have worked with the delete API method so the things we have to remember in our mind is that we have to pass our parameters inside this body parameters by getting this ID we have to pass inside this model and inside this model we have created a method which uses delete method to delete that student from the table now again let's say that we are going to delete the eighth number record so back to postman pass a student id 8 here is delete request type this is the url click on send button and i think that click on this and a student has been deleted back here reload this page and if we check about 8th number ID and it has been removed so successfully guys by the help of this video session we had seen that how can we implement about the model and the controller concept to implement about delete API method so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.